Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Plays Stuff, where I play stuff for you. And today, we are finally getting to play Outlast 2. You guys, I am so excited. I am so excited to play this game. Like, I can't even say it. I know that everybody in the world is pretty much playing this game right now, and it's been out for like a day, and you guys are already sick of it already, but I don't care. If you have been a subscriber of mine for a very long time, for maybe about two years, I don't know when I played it, um, I played Outlast 1 back when I first started YouTube. That was like one of the first games I ever played, and it was pretty awkward. Katie Play Stuff! Katie Play Stuff. Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. Ugh, furniture everywhere. <laughs> before I really had a personality on YouTube, I guess. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in seeing a little bit of that, I will leave the link down below. If you've never seen any of my gameplays before, hi, I'm Katie. Uh, pretty much, I play mainly horror games on this channel. I'm a huge horror nerd. I love all and everything horror. I don't know why, it's kind of creepy. But yeah, so I just, I love horror games. I love really long story-based games. Um, I've played The Last of Us, I've played Life is Strange, I've played- I just finished Heavy Rain, um, I've played Outlast, obviously, I played the Outlast Whistleblower DLC, I've played a lot of stuff on this channel, um, I'm trying to make this quick. If you have been watching for a while, then you know that I'm a very opinionated person. I like to pause the game every once in a while and say what I'm thinking, kind of come up with my own scenarios in my head, come up with answers to all of my questions. I pretty much just do a lot of talking. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts and just, you know, delving more into the game, uh, then you came to the right place. But anyway, let's stop talking. Let's get straight into this because I will have a lot of talking to do while we we play. <sighs> Let's get started. I'm sorry. Guys, I have headphones now. Like, what is this? What world are we living in? As most of you know, I've never worn headphones in videos. I always have, uh, like, iPhone headphones. <clears throat> but look at me! I'm like a real YouTuber now. They're not the most expensive headphones in the world, okay, guys? But, uh, I think they're pretty cute. They get the job done. What do you think? Is this weird? Is this like really weird? Is it weird? Should I take them off? Let me know. It's actually so weird wearing headphones because I can barely hear myself talk. I hope I'm not screaming. All right. Okay, so I turned the subtitles on. We're gonna be doing it on normal. Sorry guys, but y'all know I'm not that good. Okay, so we're gonna do it on normal. I don't know if we can change it in the middle of the game. Probably not, but normal it is. Outlast 2 contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Lynn Langerman is an investigative journalist seeking the answers behind a pregnant woman murdered under impossible circumstances in rural Arizona. You are Blake Langerman. I, I actually thought we were going to be a girl for a second. You are Blake Langerman, her husband, assistant, and cameraman. Record everything. Neither of you are fighters to navigate the horrors waiting for you in the desert. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. So looks like we're gonna have a second character walking along with us, which is very crazy. I don't think uh, Outlast has ever done that before. And I looked despite the pain, and behold out of the midst, in the inward fire came the likeness of a creature, a figure, as- okay. Well, sorry. Please, Blake. Where are you? I'm scared. He's coming. Jessica? Oh, uh, no, no. I mean, I was dreaming about Jessica Gray. 
from when we were kids? Oh, yeah. I, I haven't thought about her in ages. Hey, we're crossing into reservation land now. You said I'm looking for some sort of factory? Yeah. We can look, but there's nothing out here. It does look pretty empty. All the mercury in that woman's blood, she had to have spent at least a decade downstream from some pretty heavy industry. If you say so, man, you bought the time. We should record an intro while we're up here. Production value? Sure. Can't work my diaphragm with this thing on. Audio's gonna be crap. We'll have to- Whoa! What the fuck? Fuck! Sorry about that. My panel's a little soft, but uh, well, we're good! Oh, that was exciting. Get as much of the landscape behind me as you can. You got me? Yeah, we're good. Um, um, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Have a soup pie. Have a soup pie. Okay. I'm Lynn Langerman, here for Newstomorrow.net. We're flying past the Havasupai Indian Reservation in central Arizona in search of the origins of murder victims. Hey, Lynn, Doe. Um, I don't think you should say murdered. We don't know that. Oh, I'll say she strangled herself to death. That's what the police report says. We may play this before the doctor interviews. If this falls on the first 30, we need to get the word murder in there. We should probably mention the fetus, too. I mean, how it just... Here, let me try a version that can serve as an intro for the whole piece. What was wrong Tell with the fetus? Okay, we're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the nearest... Oh! Really? What happened? What even happened? What? No way. Where am I? Do I have any buttons I can press? Nothing. Can't press anything. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we are out with our wife, I think. Um, yeah, with Lynn Langerman, and we are Blake, and we're looking... I guess there was a murdered pregnant woman. Something about the fetus, which I didn't get to hear. Um, murdered pregnant woman, and we're investigating. Which seems a little dangerous. I mean, wouldn't, like, FBI or, like, you know, real police forces, wouldn't they be out here? Like, what are we doing out here? But anyway, let's get started. It's already started. <laughs> okay. All right. It has begun. Uh, okay. Who are these people? Oh, to Jessica. First place. <gasps> Maybe we're in a memory. Okay, Jessica. He said that they, uh, they knew Jessica when they were kids. Hello? Okay, follow the creepy guy. Got it. Looks like I can't run. This is so creepy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh. <laughs> What? 
I don't know. I don't know. Is this the beginning of the demo? Display chronology. The Jane Doe story part one. The Jane Doe story part two. So you can watch the video back. I'm Lynn Langerman. Here. Okay. We're good. Two weeks ago, a young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from the- Okay. Wait a second. Okay. Right before we crashed. A young woman was found wandering, barefoot, pregnant, and alone on a barren stretch of highway a hundred miles from- Okay, I wanted to see if you could see anything. You do hear that creepy noise, though. Um, so, the pregnant woman was found walking down a long stretch of path, uh, but I thought she was murdered, so I don't really know. I don't know the details yet. You can always see your objective, so that's the objective? Oh, fine, Lynn is the objective. Okay, got it. Alright guys, let's actually get started. Uh... Ah... Uh, this way. How do I take my camera out? Wish I knew the controls, but I don't. Let's jump over a gap. Got it. Got it? Important events should be captured on video. Press R1 to raise your camera. Recording will start automatically, indicated by the blinking red light. Uh, oh, sorry. When the recording sign blinks, it means you're aiming correctly at the recording event. Aim at the event until the red circle is full to successfully capture the moment. Okay, it's full. Oh, this- oh, I see. Oh, shit. So Review this... recorded videos. Is... No, there's no bodies. She's not in here. Lynn! Lynn! Uh, review footage. Okay, so that's pretty cool. It tells you when you're shooting at the right place, though. So, I don't know if that's, like, helping you out too much, but... Okay. Where did she go? Use night vision to see in the dark. Raise your camera. Got it. that even happen? Oh my god, my camera's gonna die already and we just got started! Oh really? I can't look back? It's completely dark! I see. Alright. Wait. This way. My camera is gonna die, guys. And that guy is on a freaking stake! Reload. Alright, so I guess we have battery for now. I can tell this is gonna be a really. Oh, thank God. I thought miles from anything. Oh, thank God. His, like, freaking pilot is on a stake right now, dead. Oh, gosh, this is terrible. And this is where the demo started. We are in for a ride, guys. Hello? 
I'm lost and hurt. Jammed. All right. Can I pick up anything? I don't know. All right, let's keep moving. Uh, it's been a while since I played the demo. I can't remember if this is exactly how it went down or not. But I feel like it is. What am I hearing? Okay, okay. Is anybody there? Please. Okay. Uh I feel like I'm not alone, right? Hey. Now. Hey man. Oh shit. Oh shit, you're This just happened. How do you know this just happened? There's flies everywhere. It means he's been here for a while. <laughs> uh let's see. You can look around and zoom. Are you kidding me? My dear sweet Ellie. Yeah, I'm gonna need this. My dear sweet Ellie. I can't bear what we've done, nor being apart from our little ones, so I'm going over and hoping you forgive me for leaving you behind, and God forgives me this last trespass. I know that they had to be offered up, but I'm all tore up inside, and I can't live no more. Hopefully the end will come soon and we can be together again, unless God burns me forever for this sin. Until then, I hope you find what woman's comfort you need in the arms of Papa Noth. Papa Noth? Yours forever, Tom. So, uh, they offered up their little ones? They offered up their kids? That's messed up. Why are there just batteries sitting around this place? That's my question. Did I leave this open? Alright, can't go that way. I think that is it. Let's get going. I wonder if this is going to be the full demo, like when you go to the school again, but I don't really know. Wait a second. I was just here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right, let's keep going. Oh, okay. Okay, bye. This is nice. I would get out of here. Like, why is he even doing this? Bye, Lynn. Gotta go. <gasps> this is just horrible. Oh wait, does it waste my battery just having the camera out like this? Eee, I forgot. I didn't even think about it. It probably does. Huh? Oh god. But I'm gonna have to keep it out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing this. I would be leaving right about now. And there's dead bodies, and we're just, like, knocking on the door, like, hey, friend. Pick up bandage. Find Lynn. Nothing matters but Lynn. Okay, we got it. You have the biggest thumb I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, look at your left pocket and interact with batteries. How? How? Review footage. This says nothing. Oh my god, this is so weird. I literally have to, like, look down to the bottom to use batteries. Use bandage. What? I don't know how I feel about this, guys. This is a little complicated. 
I can review my footage again. Um, okay, close that. Well, let's look around. What are you? Oh, I gotta record it. Dear Father, our loving God continues to bless me with visions, and I know more certain than ever that the enemy is nearer with every day. I was scrubbing the stains from the floor of Daniel's room when the blessed music rose inside me and sank me into true sight where I saw a creature like the burning sun, but with inward rings of teeth upon teeth and dangling beneath limbs that I took to be arms, but were cocks that rose in childing purpose. I don't know what any of this means. And as this monstrous sun descended, it fucked the earth and birthed some great and slouching horror from the, from the fire. I was filled with the same fear, so great that I could not breathe nor move, and saw myself all those years back, blinding. Daniel with the lie, and tried to weep, but could not, and when I woke I found myself wet with lusting, painfully desirous to feel a man inside of me, and the feeling was not so far different from the fear. I tried to comfort myself with your teachings. Terror is as joy terror is as joy in the movement of God, but I would take greater comfort in your manhood inside me, and a firm prayer that the Antichrist be strangled in my womb, the most faithful of your flock in holy longing, Lisa. Are are they using pregnant ladies to, like, create the Antichrist or something? Lisa, like, wants Antichrist to be, like, in her stomach right now. I don't know. That's interesting. Are you the father that everybody's talking about? Ooh. Well then, you can hide by crawling under beds. How do I crawl under? There we go. So we can do that. Interesting. Can I just stay here forever? Uh, could you get up, please? And I could hide in here. Holds a peak. Interesting. Okay. <sighs> I just gotta get used to these controls again. I haven't played Outlast in a very long time. Who's in there? That's... Oh, that's fucked up. What? What is? All oh, these children's toys? I wish you would say something about the video Tragedy that I took. Oh. Topped with barbed wire. I could feel tension in my skin. Somebody watching me. Oh yeah? Okay, so if you re-watch your video, you can hear what he has to say, which is very cool. Uh, that just has the page. Got it. There's not supposed to be anything for miles. But I wasn't alone out here. Fuck, I wasn't alone out here. This is really cool. Pilot. I don't even remember his name. What the fuck kind of people would skin somebody alive? He was skinned alive? Jesus Christ, Lynn. Oh. <gasps> she wasn't there. Lynn's body wasn't in the wreckage. She could still be alive. Okay, that is really cool. I didn't realize that he had things to say about them. Very interesting. All right, so a bunch of kids' toys, barbed wire, and uh, baby pictures. Creepy. Open windows. Was that the first jump scare? All right. And I can enter through the window. That's pretty cool. I am like already running out of batteries. This is so bad, and I'm on normal. Blood on the bed? Did somebody give birth here? Alright, we'll go that way. I remember all these places from when I played the demo. But I don't remember picking up the, uh, the notes. So I think some of this is different.
This sucks. I need more batteries. this from the demo, right guys? I know what's in here. If it's the same. Yes, it is. <sighs> Oop, sorry. <laughs> Midwife's Lament. Uh, oh wait, I have to take my... My camera is out, right? Yeah. The babe is coming. Ready the knife. The babe is coming. Night's midwife. Mother to the enemy, stained within. God's creation, saved with sin. Hallelujah, stay the storm. No longer must we wait. Oh, it's a song. For come the dawn of enemies born to die in temple's gate. The babe is growing, her belly swells. The babe is growing, sent from hell. Uh, Ezekiel waits, a sharpening, a sharp, whatever, his blade. Uh, father, gather at the gate, we kneel and pray. Okay. Alright. This looks great. This is nice. The graphics in this game are very good. Okay. What an... God. Remember this? <laughs> okay, I gotta stop. So are these... They look like dolls, right? But they're not. They, they're children, right? They're babies? I'm thinking they're babies, even though they do kind of look like dolls, because there's flies everywhere and everything. So... I don't know if they're getting the women in the town pregnant to like try and create an antichrist or something and all the ones that fail they kind of like just kill them off. I have no idea. Ooh, ooh. Okay, keep going. All right, let's go. That is so gross. Is he not even going to like videotape that or say anything? All right. Okay. It's windy out here. I'm gonna catch a cold. Okay. I'm gonna find a- or I have to find a battery soon. Actually, I can see how many batteries find I Lin. have. Nothing matters but Lynn. I have zero batteries. Alright. I'm sorry, what? Who? Who said that? By the broken knife, Legion fettered every man, Jane. Is somebody out here? If any man has an ear, he's a leader in captivity. Please, baptism of spider by the land. Oops. Who is that, though? It's like behind me. I can hear it. What is this? Oh, it's a fire. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. 
I haven't saved, so I didn't know if I was too far back. I'm sorry, what? I didn't even have a chance to even think about that. And who was that? That was a woman. I gotta go. I'm just gonna run. Oh, crap, man. Crap. What? Okay. Okay. Well. Okay. Let's see. What can I do here? <laughs> okay. Let's, uh... What's my crouch? Crouch? Is this like a sneak? Yeah. We're gonna have to do that. She's over yonder. We're gonna go this way. Wait, I gotta get this. How am I going to get past this lady? How am I going to do this? How? What? Where? Where do I even hide right now? Is she going to come around the corner? Am I hiding in the grass? I don't know. Come on, no. Come on, no. Heal! 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 Got it. Oh. <sighs> I'm just gonna try different things right now. All right, she saw me. Run faster, dude. Why are you so slow? And hide. Where'd she go? This is like the longest I've survived yet. Maybe that's what I was supposed to do this entire time. I am so scared right now, I don't want to come out! Really? Come see me. Hello. There we go. Run. And we're gonna hide again. And she saw me again. Or maybe we'll just run for it. And I'm gonna get exhausted. Oh my god, I'm alive right now. She's gonna come back, but I have to find a way out of here. I have to find a freaking way out of here. Tell me there's a way! There's a door right here. It's got a freaking lock on it. Is that her right there? Oh, I can't tell. Locked! Right here. Go, 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 go. Oh, thank God. <sighs> you guys, that was so hard. I understand you had to sneak by, but like, I couldn't sneak by. I had to literally run for it and just quickly hide so that she couldn't see me. So I don't know about that, guys. I don't know. But let's keep going. What's over here? You can move objects, really. Oh yeah? Interesting. Is there something over here? Oh, okay. 
nothing there. Oop. Is there? Alright, can I... <gasps> no. Get up, get up. Can I climb, please? How do I climb? There we go. That was so stupid. Uh, chapter 8. Let's see... Uh, and your people have made war in the fields of my son. Okay. My land laid waste, but my seed firmly set against Babylon. Yeah, I'm not reading this. And Sullivan Noth inscribed his name as Ezekiel upon eternity's banner with iron blade. If I need this, at least I can read it again later. Alright. So this is not- this is like the demo, but like extra demo, which is very cool. This is all new stuff I've never seen before. <gasps> Oops. God. Oh, Do you Jesus. Want him? Who? Then you'll have him. God wants me dead? Okay. god this game how long have i been recording all right guys well we have to stop it here because we have been recording for a little bit too long i can already tell that this game is going to be super hard at least it is right now because i'm not used to the controls yet but it's definitely super scary at the same time i don't know who that axe lady is though but she creeps me the heck out um so i definitely i I just don't want to deal with her. She's kind of like the Chris Walker of the game. It's like, if he gets you, you are dead. So pretty much stay out of her way as much as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm so excited to keep on playing. And I'm going to try and get the videos out pretty quickly and try and finish this game pretty quickly. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.